Today I've got an easy but deadly crossover technique that you can put into your game literally in minutes today to start beating more defenders and it's something that Kyrie Irving actually uses and a lot of the best ball handlers and this move is called the open drop. This move is basically a setup and I'm going to give you two different ways to do the setup. Then I'm also going to give you a setup for the setup so defenders don't see it coming. There actually is a risk of getting the ball stolen when you do this move but I'm also going to show you a way to fix that in seconds. You can add all these different variations in your game really really quickly. So the open drop is a way of setting up your defender with how you're gonna approach them, get them to do a couple of different things depending on which setup you're doing. So Kyrie will do this a lot. The first way would be is if you're like getting into a pressure situation or you're really tight to your defender and they're trying to hound you or whatever, or there's just too much going on and you're gonna retreat back. You're gonna pull the ball back. Two big keys on this setup. Number one, you wanna be 45 degrees to your defender on the setup. So you don't wanna be facing towards them, you wanna be here. That's gonna put you in position to what we're gonna do next. The other thing is you want to keep the ball a little bit exposed kind of out in front of you here. And what we're trying to do with this is if we got an aggressive defender or a situation where we're in high pressure, right? If we come back like this, a lot of times the defender is going to go to swipe at the basketball, right? That could get the ball stolen, right? But we're knowing that, thinking a step ahead, waiting for them to do that so we can take advantage of it. So stepping back, keeping the ball out here, 45 degrees, as they go for that basketball, we're just gonna cross over to blow by them. But how you do that crossover is huge. You wanna make sure you keep the ball tight to you and keep your body position this way. So this is not our typical crossover where we're kind of squared to our defender. We're here, and since we're facing this way, we're gonna do that same type of a crossover, but since our body's angled this way, it's gonna put the basketball past their defender and keep it here where it's tighter to us so they can't get to it as easily, right? If they're coming for the ball here and we cross over here, keeping the ball tight to our body, less chance of getting it stolen. If we were to put it here, we would for sure get it stolen. So keep your body this way and cross over tight. The other thing you wanna pay attention to, so we're opening our stance, that's the open part of the open drop, is that you're dropping down, okay? So we're retreating back, hanging it out, dropping down into that direction change. So you really wanna push off this back leg hard, keep the ball tight to your body. So notice how it's almost all wrist, a little bit of the arm moving and trying to keep it real tight to me and dropping down and into that first movement to the basket. That's the first setup. The second setup's just as deceptive. Second way you'll see guys use this, especially Kyrie, is you'll be approaching your defender and again, turn your body about 45 degrees to them. That alone, you don't even have to move this way, is enough to get a lot of defenders to start shifting that way. Okay, so you're moving in a straight line towards your defender, turning your body this way. Even watching me, you might be thinking, yeah, he might go this way, right? Well, that's what your defender's gonna be thinking because you got the same viewpoint as a defender pretty much. So when you turn your body, a lot of times you're gonna shift that way a little bit. All you gotta do, again, is be ready. So just like when they tried to reach for the basketball in the last version of the setup, as soon as you see them shift that way, boom, go right into that crossover, drop down. So just opening your stance up 45 degrees, as soon as they start shifting that way, boom, push it tight, drop down, blow by them. But there's a big problem with both of these setups. If you do them and beat your defender, they're gonna see it coming the next time, right? Because they kind of be like, okay, he turned this way and then he blew by me, I'm not gonna fall for that again. So you gotta have a different way of setting it up by adding a setup for the setup. We're gonna get into that next. And then in the next part, we'll talk about the different ways to keep the ball from getting stolen when you're doing this. Okay, so having setups for the setup, and before I get into that, I wanna make sure you're aware of something. You wanna typically do this facing more towards the center of the court. That's the way you almost always see Kyrie do, do that because it's going to make them think, okay, I don't want to let them get in the middle of the lane because that's where you're able to wreak havoc, right? It's going to be a lot easier to get them shifting that way and that way you can actually get yourself out of traffic and get into some space where there's a little bit more room to work. But let's talk about these setups for the setup. If we're always just setting up with a regular dribble, either retreat and turning this way or coming right into it towards the defender and turning this way, they're gonna start to see those two options coming, right? Here's one simple way you can do it, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna link you to a bunch of different ways of setting this up, different crossovers you can go into. One of the best ones is to go right from a snatch back, and if you'll notice, if I go into that snatch back, so I'm stepping forward, it's almost like your Iverson cross, but it's a little more forward, and pull the ball back, and you could do this from like more of a reverse between the legs, but that puts my body in this 45 degree position from the get-go, right? So it seems like from that, boom, I'm about to go into maybe a shot or I'm retreating back to create space. And from there, a lot of times, you can use that as an opportunity to go right into it. So your body's already in that 45 degree angle. You just stay right there. You come a little more upright 
and then drop back down. Now, you can do this from a variety of other crossover moves. I'm gonna link you again to a video. You can add any of those to the beginning and that's gonna give you a lot of more unpredictable ways of going into this. The snatch back you might see coming a little bit more. The ones in that video, if you put those in the beginning, those are gonna give you a ton of options to keep yourself unpredictable. Last but certainly not least, how are we gonna keep the ball from getting stolen, right? Because we got a defender right here. Sometimes this crossover, even if we keep it nice and tight, could get stolen because they're moving this way, they're coming in towards us, you know, especially if they're going for the steal or we're coming right to them and trying to just barely get them shifting this way, we wanna get close to them for that to work as well. So you gotta have different ways of going about this. Here's a simple tip, going close to them and then from there, go between the legs so you got protection with this front leg. Or you could go reverse between the legs so you got some protection with this leg. Or you could even go behind the back to get a lot of protection. Or a spin move. About arm distance, a between the legs or reverse between the legs would probably work pretty good. When you're really tight though, I would recommend using that behind the back or a in move. So the different crossovers to set all this stuff up. Click right here to check that video out. It's going to help you add a ton to this. It'll give you pretty much unlimited options for beating your defender. Click that like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon to catch the newest videos, and I'll see you in that video next.